This is a beautiful vest we found at Value Village. I believe it's called a uh, Kalaga Sundar Toon. When I researched it, it looked like it was made in Burma. They used to make them for royalty. And sometimes they use precious metals in the fabrics. And I believe this is called tufting, the method that they use to make it kind of puffed out. But you can even see little, I don't know if they're real or not, but <laughs> little pearls that are put in. Just gorgeous. And it's all hand done. It's incredible. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're called hintha. I think it's astrological, the, the symbols on this. Hi. I just wanted to show you one of the things that you could do if you find these pieces. They're like a, a tunic and then you have kind of a harem pant with them. And I do like to wear the harem pants that come with them, but this one was a little bit bulky when I put it on. Um, so I thought, well, wow, the pleats have already been done. You could just use these as a puff sleeve, kind of a puff sleeve or balloon sleeve, I That's guess. That's incredible. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I love your idea. Thank you. So I still have to sew this side, but, and then I'll have to think about something to do with the bottom. I'm not quite there yet. Look at that. <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, oh, the jewels. I know. I just love what she's doing with this. Oh my goodness. These are a pair of shorts that I found thrifting. Um, they were really, I think they might have been 50 cents. And I wasn't even sure if they fit me, but when I did try them on, I didn't like they fit, but I didn't like the, um, the shape of the leg. So I've been watching um, a YouTube channel, uh, T. Myers Handmade. Uh, she's really inspired me. I'm going to add these uh, patchwork pieces. And you can thrift old quilts, even if they're kind of falling apart. Save pieces from them. Just gives new life to, to old fabric. Love that. Even to the waist. They're so much more comfortable. And I just cut the bottom a little bit more so it would fray. And this uh, the halter top uh, is a piece from Free People. Did find this on eBay. <laughs> We've had these lamps for quite a while. And uh, I really like the, the look of them. But I kind of want to add some color to them. Just using a little bit of oil paint with linseed oil. Just adding some color to this. Yep, Shay. Anyone can do this, really. It's a lot of fun. I love what you did to the leaves. I love it when it's on. It looks really pretty. Yeah, I love the different colors. But I love the... Look at the leaves now. And those... I have a little friend who's watching. <laughs> what are you watching, Bruno? Oh, I'm just doing my own thing. I need the leaves. Evening primrose. Mm. Hi, this is a piece I found at the thrift store. I think it's actually meant to be a strapless, and I did initially think it was a skirt and tried it on as a skirt, and I love it. Um, and you could wear a shoe that's kind of elevates you a little bit more and has a little more of a heel, but I paired it with these little silver flats that I have had for many, many moons. And then my pearls that I thrifted. And I have it with a, a sleeveless top, but if you get cool, this was my little dollar thrifted jacket. Yeah. For a little summer event. And I'll just show it with a little bling. It's so sparkly. <laughs> I love sparkles. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> I found these pieces, uh, well, both at the Value Village. Whenever I see satin, I just kind of go for it. <laughs> I love satin. It does have a little zip on the front. I'm not sure the brand. Uh, this one is feather and bone, I believe, these pants. And they're linen. Oh my goodness, they're so comfortable and soft and you can make them as casual as you want or as yeah and I paired it with this little shell bag 
there. I'm ready to go to a summer event. A little fascinator. Something I could throw on when I'm going to a coronation party. <laughs> <laughs> You could also wear your fascinator to a Kentucky Derby. And this is the winner. Bruno! <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, you decide to come in and say hi to everybody? Yeah, oh, he's a good boy. I don't want to be out there. Come on in. Yeah. Hey, he's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> I was eager to cut this coat up. My Heather got for a dollar at a thrift store and it's all wool. It was made in Toronto and I just got an idea last minute. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you. So I just took these uh, cutters here, just sped it up for you. So you can see how I just cut these off, the arms, and then I cut off the base of the coat. Just kind of an uneven fashion here. I'm gonna save the maybe the arms could be uh, leg warmers or something. It'd be fun to see what this turns into. Just cut a uh, pair of pants here using the leggings as sleeves. Not sure if I'm gonna attach it to this jacket or not. Here's a, uh, oh, this is just gorgeous. That looks pretty good with it. But that's kind of a look that we could have. So I got this jacket for a dollar. And I love the, the pattern on it, and I love the fabric. Um, but I put it on, and I just no matter what I did, I didn't like the fit. I didn't, and I try and kind of tweak it, and it just wasn't working out. So Dave had this great idea to just cut it into a vest and I love so far how it looks and we're just kind of working on the sleeves as some little like leg warmer boot topper type idea so this is so far and we'll show you the finished product when we tweak it a little bit more but yeah pretty cool this is a piece I found at Value Village it was seven dollars and it was actually kind of one of those things that you find when you're just kind of passing by the children's section and I saw that. well this is interesting I believe it's made of buckskin I tried to do some research on it but I couldn't find a whole lot just oh and there's wheat and feather wheat's on the back kind of see wow that's amazing yeah. there's the a few details. little spots on it this uh, just incredible scenes, but <laughs> Just gonna go uh, thrifting for the day at the flea markets. Warm summer day. Feeling it. <laughs> My little thrifted bag. Ready to go. I think this is a tunic uh, from India. Um, it's an excellent shape. I love the detail in the arms. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. I was thinking about tea staining it um, and fraying the bottom. I, but I, I love the look of it. And uh, it's just incredible, the detail. A little bit warmer than I thought, but, but I love it. like it with those pants. Yeah. This is a coat that I thrifted in one of my videos. And it was $15 and it was a red tag day. So it was 50% off. So I got it for $7.50. And leather. it's genuine it's leather. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at it. I know. And the color is just so pretty. I love orange. I put it with a scarf that my mom had given me. And uh, just some crop flared jeans that I thrifted. My boots. My ruby shine platform boots. It's so comfortable. Oh, I love this jacket. 
was a, it was a good find. I put it with a little purse. And away I go, thrifting. Dave actually found this one for me. And Dave found this skirt for me too. Good job. Good job, Dave. <laughs> It was a good day. Yeah, it's suede. Um, I think the name on it is Bagatelle. And I love to layer with these little lace tops. You could wear it on its own. It's got a pretty scallop bottom. And then this little top I put over it. I love the collar of it. And then I paired them with these little pink pair of glasses rose-colored glasses <laughs> and these boots I think Dave found these for me too and I think they were made in Spain I believe yeah so this is a piece that Dave found thrifting and he decided to tea stain it just a little slight color it was it was really white and he's going to style this one up, make a few little adjustments. And then I found this one and I'm, I tea stained it. I'm going to style this one up. I'm going to add some lace to it and make a little more bohemian look. This is a quilt that I found and it's, you know, pretty, pretty shabby, but look at the colors in it and all the work that was done. And I'm gonna try and bring this back to life and make it into like a duster coat or like kimono type thing. So we'll see. But these pieces, here's another one that I found. I love the inside of it too. Wow. It's so soft. Yes, yeah, beautiful. It's really lovely material. 